differently because I currently have COVID and I'm not feeling amazing if I'm completely honest. I'm a lot better than I was but I'm still pretty gross um, and I think my standard ASMR style video um, wouldn't be as relaxing and as nice as normal because I think it would mostly just consist of me sniffing um, and sniffling and maybe even the sound of me blowing my nose which let's be honest nobody nobody wants to hear that so <laughs> I thought today I just try and do um, a little painting video um, I'm also just not feeling up to make my pottery wheel all messy and then having to tidy it all back up again so um, I've just decided that I'm gonna do a little painting video today um, we'll just see how it goes I've not done one of these before um, but maybe, you know, maybe this is the new thing. Maybe this is the thing everyone loves. Maybe you love this more than ASMR videos. I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's what we'll start with today because I don't feel great. <laughs> so these are the two candlestick holders that, um, I've decided to paint today. If I make it through both of them, it might just end up being a video of me painting one. <laughs> So for those of you that haven't seen it since it's officially been set up, I thought I'd do a little desk tour. So down here is where I store my underglazes and then also like a little rotating board that I sometimes use to paint on. And over here is my lovely succulent that my lovely husband got me for our anniversary this year, which is out here to keep me company. And I haven't decided what to call it yet, but uh, feel free to put some suggestions in the comments. Here's my little pot of paint brushes. Here's one of my tiny handmade pots that I use to keep my water in. And these are the glazes we're gonna be using today. So I use spectrum under glazes. They're great for if you're making dinnerware, things like that, that people are gonna be drinking out of and eating off of because with a transparent glaze on, they're non-toxic and food safe. This is the bright blue that we'll be using. So I actually haven't used this blue before in any of my pieces, but this is one of the little test tiles that I did. On one side I put sort of um, white underglaze on underneath, and then the other side is just applied straight to the clay, so that's where you can see the colour difference. And then here is what the white will look like after it's been fired with a clear glaze on. So now I was thinking of going for sort of a white, um, painting them white, and then going for like a nice little blue theme. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, let's go. So we're going to start off by adding a base layer of white. I'm going to add two layers of white because if the layer is too thin then it is just a little bit transparent and you can see a lot more of the clay colour coming through. So for the look I'm going for I want to have more of a solid white with just maybe some of the stronger sort of speckles that come out on the clay showing through. Once both candlestick holders have had two layers of the white, it's time to add the blue. So after opening the bottle, I then start to distribute the blue underglaze onto one of my little ceramic paint holders. This just means that I'm able to sort of mix the blue up a little bit better, make it a little bit thicker so it's a bit easier to paint with. I decided to start my design by adding this sort of decorative band around the top of the candlestick holder. Next I move on to doing the main part of the design. So I usually begin painting my characters by starting with the eyes. Don't ask me why, I've just always done it and for some reason it works. <laughs> um, so you might have noticed on some of my other artwork I have this kind of two little characters, a little moon and the sun. There are actually currently two little pots of these characters on on my website um, for sale on my online shop if you want to go check those out. So with this candlestick holder set, I wanted to continue with this theme of night and day. So you can see that I've painted a little sun on the opposite side with the clouds in between. And then I also went on to add some little stars as well. So starting with those eyes again. <laughs> this is my little sun character. You can start to see the shape form in here. 
With a lot of my art, I like to play around with a societal concept of gender. So I just generally like to shake things up. I love my characters to sort of sit outside those stereotypical boundaries. So I play around a lot with stereotypically masculine characteristics and stereotypically female characteristics and just generally like to make my characters more sort of gender ambiguous and just generally genderqueer. You'll see a lot of body hair, um, stretch marks, different shaped bodies and also surgery scars from gender affirming care as well on my characters. I feel really passionate about creating art which represents those sort of marginalised communities that often are not represented in mainstream media. So if that sounds like your jam, you are definitely in the right place. <laughs> so you can see on this other candlestick holder, I've also added in a moon on the opposite side and then put some little stars in there too. So the two will coordinate nicely together as a set. And there we go, they are all finished. Can you believe how dark it is outside? It is not even four o'clock, it's like just gone half past three and it is dreary. <sighs> so miserable outside. At least it's nice and cozy in here. But yeah, a bit rubbish. <laughs> So they're all finished. So basically what's left is I will need to dip these in glaze and then they'll go into that final firing and then they will be ready. So it's quite exciting. Let me know what you think about this little set and the design that I've done. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all the lovely things to help me and my art. So, thanks for watching. Bye.